listeners, we are recording more of National Treasure 3. We are down to four people now. So we have slightly less voices, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, and there's one scene with, like, nine different people, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I can do nine different voices. Um, Nathan, something we decided was that instead of just saying, like, how the person, like, instead of just saying, oh, you read the... the parenthetical. Yeah, instead of just reading the parenthetical, you're going to say, Elon Musk, softly, and then read what they say. So, so wait, you're saying your own character, or I'm saying? No. Oh, okay. you're saying. You were, like, looking at Nathan. Okay, so like we're gonna announce the characters what? before they do the last scene. Okay, so for this scene we have five people. That's gonna be fun. Mm. News reporter, Elon Musk, Benjamin Gates, director, cameraman. I'm so sorry. To do what? I can be a um, character. I need to see, need to see it. Like wow, we lost a Benjamin Gates. Um, but I will be Benjamin Gates. News reporter, Elon. Milo Musk. was Elon Musk and Benjamin uh, Gates. I'll be the news reporter because that's probably. I'll be the director quick. and the cameraman. Director and cameraman. I'll be Benjamin. Okay, I'll be Elon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I hate this already. Okay. Um, interior Benjamin's house, midday. Benjamin sits on his couch wearing slippers, a robe, and adult mittens. All the windows in his house have been covered to block any sunlight getting in, and no lights are on except for the TV, which, ben- which Benjamin has his eyes glued to. He has stapled waffles to the wall so that he doesn't have to feed his cat every day. <laughs> Though he has only been like this for a few days, he has grown a full beard and his floor is covered with dirty clothes. A news report on the TV reports the news. Three days ago, prof- uh, presidential candidate Nicolas Cage was arrested on account... Wait, wait, wait. That's... that's oh. in a different voice. Oh, news reporter. Um, I don't have different voices. Just, just get Make deeper. a higher pitch or something. Just get deeper. Three days ago, oh, presidential... Can- I hate you. Shut don't up. do that. Shut up. Three days ago, presidential candidate Nicolas Cage was arrested on accounts of misleading the nation. It was discovered with the help of Nathan Cortinez, his only opponent, that Nicolas's true name is Nicolas Kim Coppola. During the surprisingly quick trial, it was found that Nicolas's true name was meant to be Nicolas Cage, but the clumsy doctor in charge in charge wrote it down the wrong name. Ugh, I can speak. Okay. Um, the doctor has now been identified as Thomas Jefferson Gates, who died almost three years ago. His only known living relative, Benjamin Franklin Gates, has been shunned for his crimes. Elon Musk walks into the room after deciding he wanted to be in the movie after all. Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney. <laughs> My first <acting. laughs> Ben, why are you watching this? There's nothing you can do about Nicholas. I'm sorry, but he's stuck in prison. Benjamin Gates unenthusiastically. You don't understand, Dave. This isn't for just Nicholas's problem. <laughs> it's mine. For the first time in my life, my ancestors have done something that looks badly on me, and every other time I've been able to fix it. Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney, bored out of his mind and fidgeting with a nuclear power plant while reading that line half-heartedly. Benjamin, I haven't known you for long, but if there's one thing I know for sure about you, it's that if you really set your mind on it, you can do anything you want. You've stolen the dead. <coughs> You've stolen the Declaration of Independence, you've kidnapped the president, and you've discovered an an entire city of gold, I think. (laughs) I didn't really pay attention to the second movie. I got, I've got more (laughs) money than you, than you've ever had in your entire meaningless life, and all I've done with it is establish contact with fourth dimensional (laughs) beings called the Others on Mars. Elon walks over to Benjamin and kneels down in front of him. Elon Musk, as an onion, as John Mulaney. How does the onion kneel down? <laughs> Don't ask questions. Ben, you've restored your family's reputation, reputations almost single-handedly twice before. You can do it again. Benjamin is infused with a bit of hope, but still has the attitude of a pig staring at a piece of bacon. <laughs> Benjamin Gates. Even if I wanted to fix this, I couldn't. I'd have to get Nicholas's original birth certificate. And that's in Vatican City, guarded by the Pope himself. <gasps> I forgot to add literally the characters Pope and Genghis Khan. Okay, we don't have to talk oh. about it. Okay. <laughs> Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney. Oh, wait, where were we? Yeah, that's where we are. Oh, no longer reading the script and is talking to the director. Why? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing that you would think of? How does that even make sense? <laughs> director builds a T-90 third generation <laughs> Russian battle tank, a variation of the T-72 tank that includes many features found on the t 80 equipped with a 125mm and 2A46 smooth bore machine gun, the one the one A45 T fire control system, an upgraded engine, and a thermal <laughs> and the thermal site made with the we steel composite a steel <laughs> composite <laughs> armor blend <laughs> blend smoke grenade dischargers contact 5 explosion protection armor and an infrared ATGM jamming system and 
and and points it at John Mulaney, director. <clears throat> How many times do I have to tell you to say the line? Elon Musk, as an onion, as John Mulaney, more annoyed than scared. Why is it at the Vatican? Benjamin Gates. Because of what happened in 2005. Don't you remember? It was all over the news. Elon Musk as Can an onion. Can I pause onion. for just a second? Yes. I just want to say I hate this voice. But Me it's too. the voice Milo used for Benjamin Gates, and I feel like I have to keep well, you gotta going. you got to do it louder because when not. Milo read it, it, like, you couldn't hear it. True. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Elon Musk as an onion, as John Mulaney, reading the line after a few minutes of silence because he was distracted by his phone. Oh, uh, no, what happened? Benjamin Gates. Some guy stole literally every birth certificate in the world and then changed everybody's name so that they started with L's. I was called Le Benjamin for a week. They never caught the guy, but ever since then, every birth certificate has been kept in the Vatican City guarded by the Pope. Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney. Oh yeah, that was me. I was on some... <laughs> Slowly with confusion. I was on some diet pills. To the director. You know what? I quit. I don't care what you try to do to me Do to me this time. I'm done. I'm not reading... I'm not going <laughs> to read lines for that onion anymore. I'm done. Walks on screen next to onion. To the onion. I've had it with, <laughs> with you and your perfect acting. You've ruined my life. I have nothing left. Nothing at all. And that's all because of you. Brief emotional pause as John begins to cry in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pause, pause, pause. What? I just want to put it out there that this reminds me of the line in um, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs 2, where the police officer's like, it's enough to make a grown man cry. But not this grown man. Get back in there, tear. <laughs> and he shoves the tear back into his oh, eye. Yeah. That was like the best part of that movie. Okay. Um, um, should I just start? Yeah. Yeah. You've only ever brought me pain and suffering. I always knew onions made people cry. I just <laughs> didn't know it was like this. John begins to sob as he runs off the set. Director and cameraman sit in awe. Director. That, that was the best performance <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I truly believe that there is not a person in existence who could be a better Elon Musk than that man. Cameraman. What, what about the real Elon Musk? <laughs> disgusting, disgusting. Um, director removes cameraman's stomach and places it on Mercury. Elon Musk <laughs> as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Cameraman. Um, Mr. Director, sir, who's gonna read the lines now that John is gone? I hate this. <laughs> director, while getting high by smoking old pairs of headphones. <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you don't die. Please. So you, got, <laughs> you got high by smoking old pairs of headphones. <laughs> Listeners, we we haven't actually. Henry wrote the script, but uh, Nathan, Mac, and I haven't actually read it. No, I haven't read it. I've read it. Nathan and I haven't actually read it, so okay. This is kind of a surprise to us. This is great. Director. <laughs> If you use that attitude with me, one more time, I will replace your face with a sea urchin. Shut up. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates, a twinkle in his eye as his hope is returned. You're right, E. There's nothing that can stand in my way. Not a stupid ancestral decision, not a misguided president, and definitely not the Pope. Uh, Elon, wait. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates, with so much enthusiasm, he starts a million dollar shoe company on GoFundMe with the entire purpose of pirating Nike shoes and changing the logo to be a mustache. <laughs> I, I, I can do anything! <laughs> what? Whoa, where did you go? See, does the you onion have it. no more lines? You broke now? it. Uh, grabbing Elon's what hand. We, we can do anything! Let's go get that birth certificate! <laughs> So the other one just doesn't have any more lines. Uh, cut to, cut to <laughs> interior airport afternoon. Shots of planes taking off and landing with some cool 80s music playing wait, 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 in the background. Wait, wait, Oh, okay, sorry. Shots of planes taking off and landing with some cool 80s music playing in the background. Camera follows Elon and Benjamin through the line. airport. Then and Elon walk through the airport carrying exactly 3.29562963928357.
62 pounds of luggage, including Elon's award-winning glow-in-the-dark glowing ball. A blowing... <laughs> blowing ball. <laughs> blowing ball. People, upon realizing who Ben is, begin to laugh and make fun of him. One man even throws a machete at him, cutting off Ben's arm. Everyone laughs. Benjamin Gates intensely has blood spews from his stump. Ah! <laughs> Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Makeup artist off screen to the cameraman <laughs> quietly. Your neighbors are going to come out. Dude, the workers over there are going to think you're dying. <laughs> I don't know how to I speak am like. dying. Why is the onion still here? He doesn't even do anything. He's so... Oh, cameraman. Mm. Sorry, cameraman. He's so needy, too. Yesterday, he made me chew his food for him. I hate you so much. Makeup artist confused. Isn't he a plant? Cameraman. Yeah. Makeup artist. So doesn't he eat sunlight? Cameraman. Uh, That's besides the point. He's so (laughs) egotistical. And unnecessary. Makeup artist. (laughs) I hate it so much. Makeup artist. Trust me, if it weren't for the director staring at us 24-7, I would have taken a knife to him a long time ago. Is this foreshadowing? We don't know. (laughs) Benjamin Gates. You're you're right. I I can't let these people control my life. It doesn't even matter to me. They can laugh all all they want. They can make fun of me and cut off my limbs. But it doesn't matter. I don't have any control over what they do, but I do have control over myself. I choose to be the better man and ignore... Random person throws machete at Ben again, cutting off his other arm. Benjamin Gates, angrily now being played by Nicolas Cage's stunt double, an actual real-life gorilla. No, like, really, there's an actual gorilla on set. I fear for my safety. Please send help. I swear to gosh, freaking heck, I will murder every single one of you and I will take you from your friends and your families and torture you for years and years, bringing you to the verge of death, but always bringing you back to life until I become bored with your meaningless soul and I will leave you in a swamp to be eaten by the animals and by the time the police find you, your corpse will be so deformed that you will only be able to be identified by your dental records and your soul will be destined to roam this world forever with no purpose but to bore you. And don't forget about Shrek. I forgot about Shrek. As you were saying that, I was just like, I wonder if there's anyone else in the entirety of the universe that has been with their friend group and be like, you know what we should do? <laughs> we should write a script <laughs> like this and just sit at a park and just read it. <laughs> Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates, back to normal, being played by Nicolas Cage. Yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now, security is coming because they think I'm... Wait, a gorilla said all those lines. <laughs> How? Wait, a gorilla. Um, it was, with air quotes. It was a gorilla playing Benjamin Gates. A danger to myself and everybody around me. Uh, Why'd you do air quotes? Fifteen... Do I can see it. <clears throat> Excuse you. Fifteen all million... cut out so it's just the script. <laughs> no, it's great. It's good commentary. <laughs> It, except this is it's be actually such a not. long, long episode. It's supposed to just. It's be already script. 18 minutes. Okay, okay read it. Okay, 50, 50 million or 15 million security guards tackle Benjamin Gates to the ground. Elon laughs, except he doesn't because he's an onion and doesn't have vocal cords, or so my biology teacher tells me. But he laughs, I guess. Ethan Cortinas can also be heard laughing, but only if you buy the limited edition Blu-ray copy of National Treasure Three, which you can purchase now for just that number. Five Talk- times ten to the thirty-fourth. Talk to your Is local drug dealer today and hope right that they <laughs> and hope they have something better than this movie. <laughs> That's such a good line. I love that. Day two, exterior <laughs> airport, late afternoon. Elon and Benjamin s- stand on late the side of the road. Recasting. Recasting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Recasting. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm driving. Elon and Benjamin stand on the side of the road waiting for a taxi. Benjamin looks disappointed in himself for getting him for getting him thrown out of the airport because he couldn't control his temper. Elon looks like an onion again. A taxi pulls up next to Elon and Benjamin. Benjamin Gates and Elon Musk at the same time. I call shotgun. I I call shotgun. Wow. (laughs) Benjamin is unwilling to give up the passenger seat and instead smacks Elon over the head with a shovel, which he pulled out of his long intestine and shoves Elon's body into the trunk of the car. You don't have a long intestine. You have a large intestine. Close enough. (laughs) Well, you don't know. He's actually... Benjamin gets into the passenger seat. Cab driver. Where are you heading to? Okay, come sit down and reread that. <laughs> I just want to do it from sit far down. away. Sit right. down. Sit down. Okay. Reread. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
descent. Where are you heading to? Down. Benjamin okay. Gates. The ocean? Cab driver. Which one? Oh Please stop. You are going to <laughs> ruin the movie. Die. You Benjamin. are going to ruin this perfect movie! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Benjamin Gates. North? Cab driver. Alrighty. Cab driver begins Stop. to drive the cab. Ben notices the large scar that covers 96% of the cab driver's entire body. Benjamin Gates, politely. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to be insensitive. And you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but why is your face so disgusting? Why in the world? What in the world is wrong with your body? And why do you choose to show off your ugly body to the world and not cover it up like any other self-respecting human would do? Cab driver. That's a scar! Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> uh, that's a scar. No. Stop. Both of you okay, are that. terrible human beings. I'm, I'm just that's a read scar. The I got it. I well, you. I actually don't remember what year the accident. You sound like me. Oh. I've been told that. But uh, none of you get that because you haven't watched The Dark Knight Rises. Sorry. My coffee. <laughs> I've been told that I was driving a man and his no. pregnant wife to a hospital when I ran into every single car in California. Also, I was I happily been... injured, but the man and his wife made it to the hospital. Benjamin Gates. Nobody's going to be able to understand that. <laughs> nope. He ate the <laughs> sharpest tool one. in the shed. Wait, that sounds familiar. Wh what hospital was it? Uh, cab driver. I believe it was the Lakewood Regional Medical Center. Benjamin Gates, surprise. That's the hospital that Nicholas Cage was born at. You must have been that horrible driver he always talks about. Cab driver. That name sounds familiar. Are you sure it's Cage and not Kim Coppola? People around here are going to be so confused. <laughs> Benjamin Gates, after a short pause, whilst sighing continuously. He was supposed to be named Cage, but then the doctor wrote down Kim Coppola. Now he's at prison and it's all the doctor's fault. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Uh, cab driver. The doctor? You mean Dr. Thomas Jefferson Gates? Is this cab driver, like, does he have his window up and he's just kept it up and he's just trying to yell back at them? He's just, yeah. It's, it's, like, locked or something? This is supposed to be a casual conversation and Nathan <laughs> is just ruining it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Nathan. I'm making it better. I don't know what you're talking about. Benjamin Gates after a short... Wait, oh, we already did that part. Benjamin Gates. Yeah, my great uncle. Cab driver. That's not right. No. I saw... I saw him write down Nicolas Cage. I know for sure that's what he did. But then some other man came over and made the doctor change it. Benjamin Gates intrigued. Who is the other man? Cab driver. I'm not sure. He had a disgusting <laughs> piece, piece of hair on his chin. That's his patch. Pete. <laughs> like a beard, but more pathetic. Hey, what <laughs> a line. Benjamin Gates while thinking of Nathan, Nathan Cortinez. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> a pathetic beard, you say. <laughs> Recap! It's the same person. Cut to exterior beach early night. All Elon and Benjamin the exit the cab. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates. That's a good question, Elon. We're at the ocean because we need to get to uh, the Vatican. And the Vatican is in Europe, which is on the other side of the ocean. Which is in Europe. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates. We're not flying because we just got kicked out of the airport. Idiot! <laughs> cab driver from the cab. I don't want to bother either of you, but I have a suggestion. Benjamin Gates. What is it? Cab driver. Have you tried flying on a plane from the airport? I hate you so much. Where are we? Uh, Benjamin Gates, after a long pause that is also short, but that doesn't matter because time is relative, I think. My God, you're a genius. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, okay. Who's gonna... Are you just okay, gonna keep no, playing Benjamin Gates? No recasting for this one. Okay. Smash cut to interior airport midnight. Elon and Benjamin walk through the airport. They do not face the same humiliation as they did the last time because somebody, who definitely wasn't Elon, has flooded the airport with a toxic, toxic gas, which Elon and Ben are strangely immune to. The Princess two... Bride? Question mark. 
The two board a plane headed for India. Fade to exterior airport, India, late morning. Pause, pause, pause. Why are they going to India? Don't just ask questions. Read it. That's, read it. That's past. Read it. Okay. We just need Ben to engage. Okay. Are we keeping Ollie? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, exterior well, you airport. Could get rid of me. But I think I'm the only reason people listen to the podcast. So. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, is like, my best right. friend says you have a fabulous beard. Uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> okay, can thanks. we read the script now? Okay, Elon and Benjamin stand on the sidewalk outside the They're airport, watching people scared. walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly Wait, confused. What? Benjamin Gates. This isn't the Vatican. Elon and Ben walk back inside the airport and get on another plane. Smash cut to exterior airport Singapore, okay, midday Benjamin or Gates. something. Okay. Elon and Benjamin stand on the sidewalk outside of the airport, watching people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly confused. Benjamin Gates. Yeah, her best friend. Uh, this isn't the Vatican. Elon and Ben walk inside, back inside the airport and get on another plane. Okay, Exterior. So <laughs> Exterior <laughs> airport, Finland, some other time. Elon and Benjamin stand on the sidewalk outside the airport, watching people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly confused. Benjamin Gates. This isn't the Vatican. Elon and Ben walk back inside the airport and get on another plane. Okay, this is Benjamin Gates again. Okay, thank you for informing <laughs> us. Exterior airport, Cayman Islands, who even cares anymore? Elon and Benjamin stand on the sidewalk outside the airport, watch the people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly confused. Benjamin Gates. This isn't the Vatican. Elon and Ben walk back inside the airport and get and get on another plane. Okay, this one is Benjamin Gates and Elon Musk. Okay. <laughs> Exterior <laughs> airport... Who's Burundi? How do you pronounce that? I have no idea. Burundi? Burundi. Time doesn't matter because of Einstein. <laughs> Elon, Elon and Benjamin stand on the sidewalk outside the airport, watching people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly confused. Benjamin Gates. This isn't the Vatican. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates. Shut up, Elon. Elon and Ben walk back inside the airport and get on another plane. Okay, this is Benjamin. <laughs> Elon. Okay. Export uh, exterior airport. How do you pronounce Tuvalu. that? Tuvalu. This is the last one. I swear. Elon and Benjamin sit on the side. Blah, 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 sit on the sidewalk outside the airport, watching people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visibly confused. Benjamin Gates. I'm not even gonna say it this time. Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney or not as John Mulaney. Sorry. <laughs> Benjamin Gates. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should actually buy tickets instead of just getting on our way into plane. And hoping it takes us to the Vatican. Let's go. Elon and Ben walk back inside the airport and get on another another plane. Exterior airport, Vatican City, midday. Uh, Elon and Ben stand on the sidewalk outside the airport. Watch people walk by and speed past them in cars. They are both visible. <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Gates in tears. <laughs> this. This is the Vatican. Elon Musk, as an onion, not as John Mulaney, also crying, but not that because that's illegal for onions. Okay. <laughs> Benjamin Gates. Wait, what's that? Benjamin points at a giant banner hanging on the side of a, a nearby building. It has a red background and a black border on the edges. On the banner, there's a picture of Nathan Cortinas and the Pope shaking hands, both of them wearing sunglasses. On the center of the banner, there's a logo, NNP. Every single building has one of these banners on it. Elon Musk as an onion as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates. You're right. Nathan must have known we'd come looking for the birth certificate and allied himself with the Pope so they could know if we tried to take it. That means that Nathan possibly has guards all around the vault. Elon Musk as an onion not as John Mulaney. (laughs) Benjamin Gates. That's a great question, Elon. The vault. Is the name of the building that holds all of the birth certificates. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Benjamin Gates. I know this would be a lot easier if Nicholas were here, but he's not. We're gonna have to do this one on our own. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Makeup artist off screen to cameraman. Dude, where do Oreos come from? Cameraman also off screen because anything else wouldn't make sense. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Makeup artist. I'm just saying, I've never seen an Oreo in the wild. Cameraman after a short pause. What? 
<laughs> Makeup artist. Oreos, man, they have to come from somewhere. And I've never seen a wild Oreo crawling through my backyard or sniffing through my trash. Cameraman. That's because they don't come from wild animals. They don't come from wild Idiots. animals. Idiots! They grow on bushes. Makeup artist. Bushes? Cameraman. <laughs> yeah, you know, like peppers or pineapples or Sinia <laughs> Stolamalius. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh I read it too fast. Okay. Um, makeup artist. Wait, wait, wait. What's a pineapple? <laughs> Cameraman. Dude, just go do your job. It's bad enough I gotta sit here watching an onion on a stool. And I got no time to listen to you talk about Oreos. I love that you started this wrong, but you just improved <laughs> it. But I'm tempted to make you go back and reread it until you get it right like I did to Henry. <laughs> Well, that time it was because there was actually something funny. <laughs> yeah, that one had to turned videos. into a helicopter. <laughs> Makeup artist stands up, pouting like a child, and walks over to the onion. Makeup artist, very confused and annoyed. What am I supposed to do? He's an onion! Cameraman. I don't know. Just make him look pretty. I'm not gonna do your job for you. Makeup artist while rolling his eyes. Fine. See, it's a, a boy. Oh. I said mm. that. Yeah, I knew That's that. That's why he said James Charles. <laughs> Um, makeup artist turns around, standing between the camera and the onion, blocking the onion from view. He paints for a few minutes before walking off screen. He painted a mustache on Elon. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney, with a mustache. This is, use a slightly different accent for this because he has oh, yeah. a mustache now. Okay. <laughs> I didn't you were doing that. Okay, <laughs> Benjamin Gates. Hold that thought, Elon, I think I have an idea. Camera follows Ben's Light line bulb. Of- Camera follows Ben's line of sight to a man on the other side of the street playing a guitar with negative two hands. There is only one man in the world with that much raw talent. Benjamin and Elon walk across the street to Paul McCartney. Okay. Benjamin and Elon sit together on a couch, each of them holding their own own coffee mugs full of tea. Paul sits on a chair directly in front of the two, also enjoying a cup of tea. Paul takes a sip of tea. Benjamin Gates. Paul, I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, but I was wondering if Paul McCartney cutting Benjamin off. It has to be in a British accent. We'll talk when tea time is over. That's what not a British heck accent. Is that? That's a New Jersey accent. I am officially Paul McCartney. <laughs> we'll but talk when tea Paul time is over. Benjamin. <laughs> I okay, hate then, then switch. You're Benjamin. everyone. No, that won't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, then you're Benjamin. Just and don't you have a terrible accent. Which one? But I like that accent. Mine. No one else likes that accent. Okay. Fine. You're not okay. going to be Benjamin and Paul. <clears throat> F- fix your accent. And now oh, I can't no. read the script. Where do we go? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I forget Nathan isn't like a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nathan, I'm read going to read line. your line if you don't. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's easy. We'll talk when tea time is over. <laughs> Stop. I don't know how to do it. We'll talk when tea time is over. That's what? even a worse New That's Jersey like... accent. What even was that? <laughs> we'll talk it. when tea time is over. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. All right, I'm officially Paul McCartney, and okay. Mac is now Benjamin Gates. No, oh, okay. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Hold on. Then Mac can't be but Nathan Cortina. But that's not Cortina. British. And Nathan we'll can't just be keep Nathan going. Cortina. We'll just keep going. Paul takes a sip of tea. Elon takes a sip of tea. Paul takes a sip of tea. Benjamin takes a sip of tea, but spits it out because he is a sane human being and knows that tea is really just a fancy word for hot water. Paul takes a sip of tea. Benjamin Gates. It's just that Paul McCartney cutting him off. After tea time. I hate ah. you. Paul, Paul takes a sip of tea. Elon takes a sip of tea. Paul takes a sip of tea. Elon, uh, Paul takes a sip of tea. Elon takes a sip of tea. Benjamin stares awkwardly into the tea. He he knows he does not like tea. He knows that tea does not like him. Paul takes a sip of tea. Benjamin Gates. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just really need to ask. Uh, Paul McCartney cutting him off firmly. Drink your tea. Then we'll talk. That sounds Benjamin. Russian. <laughs> Benjamin Gates hesitantly. I, I, I actually really don't like tea. 
Uh, Paul McCartney briefly channeling Ollie. Wait. <laughs> Drink your tea! <laughs> Benjamin drinks all of his tea. Benjamin drinks all of Elon's tea. Elon is sad because he doesn't have any t- any more tea. Benjamin drinks all of Paul's tea. Paul's okay with that because he was actually drinking vinegar. Um. Benjamin can't handle it and runs into a window. It <laughs> runs to. Oh my gosh. Runs to a window. He regurgitates out of the window. The vomit lands on a man wearing a, a judge's wig, but he can't feel it because those wigs are thick. Paul McCartney calmly. No. What is it you want to talk about? Benjamin Gates. You remember Nicolas Cage, right? Uh, Paul McCartney. Of course I do. He's one of my oldest and dearest friends. You're just Why? Why? <laughs> I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Benjamin Gates. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but a scandal was recently unearthed about him that his real name was Nicholas Kim Coppola. Uh, he was arrested the other day by Chinggis Han, the 236th. I thought it was Genghis Khan. Uh, it's Chinggis Han. It's Chinggis Han. Okay. Paul McCartney. Why uh, do you yes. keep doing this before you do your accent? You just go, the trash can is filled with water. Yum. Ah, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I believe I heard about that. Unfortunately, I have a medical condition where I can only retain about 6% of the information I hear. You're like... Why is a it weird here version of Porky the Pig. Why is it here that way, not here like here? Yeah. No, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> that makes sense. Benjamin Gates. Really? That sucks. Uh, here, see if this helps. Uh, Benjamin Gates kicks Paul McCartney in the side of the head. Paul falls onto the floor with blood dripping from his mouth and teeth on the floor. Paul puts his teeth back in and sits back in the chair. Paul McCartney. Thanks. That really did help. I literally know everything. Benjamin Gates. Really? Paul McCartney. I love this part. Really? Ask me something. Anything. Stop having such long pauses. It's so... Wait, I have to say your... Uh, Benjamin Gates. If someone lives life without passion, are they really living? Ah! It turned off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, you gotta go fast. Uh, Paul McCartney. Of course. Nathan? Are you going to tell me that plant isn't living because it can't motivate itself to do something besides eat, reproduce, and die? That's an easy one. Ask me another. Oh my god. I hate you so I much. Love it. Benjamin I love Gates. It. Uh, who gets to decide what's right and wrong? Who gets the right to be the judges, juries, and executioners of our society? Twelve angry men? Question mark. Um, Paul McCartney. I'm running to grab a charger. Okay. Why? That's easy. The judges, juries, and executioners of our society are. The judges. Juries and executioners. <laughs> Ask me another one. I just felt. Just say what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life? Paul McCartney. I feel like I have to, like, get away. DBH. I hate you so much! I, I didn't think that was the first thing I would read. <laughs> okay, we broke just, Paul McCartney. It just says TBA. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> TBH, there isn't a meaning. We're all just gonna die eventually. We just choose to put extra steps in the way. These are all too easy. Ask me a hard one. I just felt your breath on my hand, and I've never felt so uncomfortable in my whole life. Benjamin Gates. No, you gotta read the parenthetical. His first word oh. was TBH. <laughs> What's the meaning um, of that? Pauses while thinking. There's no me. All right. If I freeze a hot pocket, 
Does it just become a pocket? Uh, Paul McCartney pauses while thinking, but more than Benjamin did. Oh, You're just getting so much closer to me. This is really... Okay, you keep, okay. You keep turning We're the on the away. opposite side of the table. <laughs> yeah, Nathan, scoot over. Because you keep moving away every time I try to yeah. get closer to the mic. <laughs> yeah, so stop here. I hate this. Okay. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Anyway, how can I help with your... Uh, Gage Nicholas Gage situation. I'm loving this. Benjamin really Gage. This. Well, we were thinking that if we could find Nicholas's. Could the wind really, like, stop, please? Just go. Are you sure? We don't have time to worry about the well, wind. We were thinking that if we could find Nicholas's I no idea. It's just kind of original. It's I can, the only Star Wars shirt. I can sew it for you. Original birth certificate and change the signature on it so that it looks like his name really is Nicholas Cage. Then we could show it to the world and discredit Nathan. Paul McCartney. But all of the birth certificates are in the vault. The vault. Oh my gosh, Benjamin Gates. My nose. Well, that's where you come in. We need all of the information you have on the vault and how we can get inside. Paul McCartney. Okay. I think I can help with that. The vault is one of the most heavily guarded, <laughs> heavily guarded buildings in the world and now that Nathan and Genghis are in the county country county <laughs> country you can bet they'll be even even more <coughs> you are my least favorite human yes <laughs> hey, I'm in love with him we should sit in my car it's cold are you cold uh, it's we can sit in the sun it. Ollie, so cold. Do you want it's the light? wind. No, let's sit up there. Jesus. Hot air rises. I'm hot. Then let's sit up there. <laughs> I'm reading Paul McCartney's lines. <laughs> hey, um, Genghis look. or Benjamin Gates. Don't, don't do that. Wait, Chinggis Ham, the uh, 236th is here too? Paul McCartney. Wait. I'm just reading it normally. Wait. No, wait. Pretend this isn't wait, Nathan's right voice. Here. Wait. Yeah, they just. He's right here. Read it. And what does the line say? I don't know. Uh, what was the line that was just yeah, said? Yeah, they just didn't put him on the posters. Yeah, they just put him on the posters because he doesn't have a, doesn't have that great of a reputation in the East. Nathan has already begun to enslave people. He takes them at night and then he does something to them. I'm not sure what, but it returns to, into drones that do his bidding. They walk Absolutely. all around the city and recognize each other by wearing fake beards. To bypass them, you'll need to look like them. I hate you, Nathan. I hope you know that. Um, <laughs> Paul walks over to a drawer in his kitchen and pulls out two <laughs> fake beards. He throws, he throws, he throws on to Ben and one to Nathan. Paul McCartney. I'm reading Paul McCartney's line. No, I'm right here. Those should get no, you close no. to the facility. No, stop. <laughs> I'm right here. Just wait. Let me get up there. Henry, read it. Nathan, I yes. want to you. Yes. <laughs> You are going to break this. You're going to break your legs. (laughs) Okay. I made it. Yeah, which is actually literally worse. Uh, No thanks. Uh, (sighs) That took a lot of energy. (laughs) Those should get you close to the facility. But getting inside is a completely different story. It's the Jungle Book. The door is made of a five inch thick steel and it's the only and it's the only way in. It just made me think of the jungle. Someone is going to get offended by this accident. It just made me think. The walls, roof, and floor are all made with M equals various metals with various thicknesses. The door is the only way in and it's only open twice a day. Once for maintenance workers, and once for the pizza delivery guy. Once you're inside, the place is like a death trap. You step anywhere you're not supposed to, and the floor opens up into a bit of lava. They've already lost two maintenance workers, and 15 trillion 
1,473,294,534,988 pizza guys. There's no way you can get past without disabling it. Well, how are we going to do that? It's not like any of us just have a device capable of disabling a building's entire security system, including a floor that opens up over an actual pit of lava. Paul McCartney throws a brick at Benjamin, hitting him in the side of the face and knocking him to the ground. Ben stands back, holding his broken nose and trying to stop the blood. Benjamin Gates. What the heck was that for? Paul McCartney throws another brick at Benjamin's face, knocking him to the ground again. Benjamin spits out a tooth and stands back up. Benjamin Gates. What? Paul McCartney throws a third brick at Benjamin Gates, knocking him to the floor again. Benjamin covers his black eye with one hand and uses the other to push himself off the ground. Benjamin Gates. Why? Paul McCartney is out of bricks and leaves to go to the brick store. Ben... Oh, Benjamin. I feel like I thought I said Benjamin. Because <laughs> we separated coughs. to enter his body but the demon is allergic to Shut up. but the demon is allergic to onions and instead takes control of Ronald Reagan what Paul returns from the brick store and throws a brick at Benjamin Gates the brick cracks Nicholas's head what <laughs> the brick cracks Nicholas's head open and knocks him to the ground I didn't know that. you didn't know Ronald Reagan was the president he got shot what Okay, um, 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 Nicholas stands back up. Benjamin Gates, terrified of Paul. Why are you doing this to me? Paul sets down his bricks and, ste and steps up to Benjamin. Their faces so close that their noses almost touch. Ben can't bring himself to look. Out of Please don't. Please don't. Ben can't bring himself to look into the madman's eyes. Before now, he had never known the true meaning of fear. Every moment in his life seemed, seemed significant, and at this distance, he could feel more power. He could feel the power radiating, radiating off of Paul, like a stench, but more powerful and dangerous. He felt something he hadn't felt in years. He felt scared. Paul places his hand on Ben's shoulder. Like Paul McCartney. <laughs> Paul McCartney with passion. Never. Never say never. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I said never. Right Just now. say Benjamin Gates. Benjamin Gates. Oh I I didn't. Uh... Oh, wait. Um. Paul throws another brick at Ben, knocking his ear off. Ben throw Ben falls to the ground and then slowly picks himself up. How does he pick himself up if he's missing a ear, an ear, and two arms? Impossible. Um, Paul McCartney, after a brief pause, cheerfully. Did I mention that I have a device capable of disabling a building's entire security system, including a floor that opens up over an actual bit of lava? Why did you give Nathan the longest part, Benjamin Gates? No, no you didn't. Paul McCartney. Oh, well, I do. I built it back in 82. Back then, I assumed that the world would one day be taken over by a tyrant trio consisting of the Pope, the President of the United States, and whatever gangs gone. Chinggis Han, the 236th. <laughs> Chinggis Khan, the 236. Chinggis Han. Genghis Khan, the 236, is now. I want to die. So. You want to die together? Yeah. That's no, pact. we all have to die together. I spent two years of my we life. We made the pact. You're right. Wait, I thought that was only for the car. I spent two years of my life drunk. It's for everything. I assumed it was for everything. It's for everything now. I spent two years of my life drunk and ranting about it to random people. Then. For the next three years, I developed a device what was the device capable. <laughs> he literally has no point. Capable of shutting down any security system. I call it the 
Ben pauses, assuming there's more to the title. Benjamin Gates. Is that it? It's called the the? Uh, Paul McCartney. Yes. 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 Benjamin Gates. Paul, that's genius. Paul McCartney. I know. Right? Benjamin Gates. How do I use the? Paul McCartney. Just put it on the side of the building. As long as it's on the, as long as it's on and touching some part of the building, it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Whiz away. And then when you get some Philly cheese and it's whiz away, and then you put it on the sandwich, and then you put it on the side of the building. Put the phone down. Benjamin Gates. Great. Uh, now let's go to the Bahamas. Elon Musk adds an onion knot as John Mulaney. Paul McCartney. I hate to say this, but Elon is right. We don't have time for the Bahamas right now. We have to worry about the mission at hand. Elon Musk adds an onion knot as John Mulaney. I'm sorry. I can't understand your accent. What? You just sounded like that guy from the Weird Eight Point. Southern guy. To <laughs> Benjamin. What is it? Who is that guy? To Benjamin. What guy? Anyway. Pause. Anyway. The should also disable. The. It's pronounced the. The should also disable the 15th locking mechanism on the floor, the door, allowing you quick access. Once you've gotten, once you've gotten past the door and the lava floor, you'll be right outside the vault itself. Like uh, excuse guy. me, give that back. However, right outside. say you'll be right outside. You'll be right outside the vault itself. However, there will be armed guards waiting Crap. outside of it. Okay. Benjamin Gates. Oh, we don't have to worry about that. In my lifetime, I've knocked out over two and a half people on Wii Sports. What? Where? Are Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Well, these won't just be any guards. Nathan knows you're coming. He'll have made these guards to defend against you. Specifically, there will be a veloc- velocicopters. Velocicopters, laser pointers, and lava lamps. Benjamin Gates. I said it already. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what those are. Paul McCartney. If you were talking to someone, would you just be like, (laughs) actually, I agree. What the heck? Okay, my phone keeps going back to the very beginning of the script. Say what, the velocicopters? Just look look down here. What? The velocicopters? Uh, Benjamin Gates sarcastically. And no, the laser pointers. Yes, of course, the velocicopters. Paul McCartney. Well. Why did you face the opposite direction? Say use. Say the... use. Well, you was... don't gotta worry. Oh, that's... oh wait. Well, you don't. You don't got to be rude about it. Okay, you're not even trying to do a British accent anymore. <laughs> I never was. <laughs> oh, uh, Benjamin Gates. Going between all of the European. Yes, I do, Paul. I physically cannot be rude. It's a serious medical condition, and I don't appreciate you making fun Wait, of me not, not like this. Rude. Yes, I do, Paul. I physically cannot not be rude. It's a serious medical condition, and I don't appreciate you making fun of me like this. Go ahead, apologize to me Paul, now. Oh, Paul McCartney. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Benjamin Gates. 
Oh, it's okay. You don't need to apologize. It was an honest mistake. Anyway, what are velocicopters? Also, haven't you seen me in the first movie? I am rude, always. Paul McCartney. I think wow. we should. I think we should stop at forty-five, so that way I have time turn, to get home. We should stop at the end. Uh, of the scene. It's only ten thirty. Wait. Yeah. Do you know where you're you going, or do you know that you just have to be somewhere? What? Do you know where you're going, or do you know just know that you have to be somewhere? I just know I have to be somewhere. Okay. Let's. We can pause at the next scene, which oh my god, which is several pages away. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Which is page forty-nine. 49. Okay, we can pages. do this. Five pages. And we need to read it as fast as possible, so no more pauses. Okay. They're velociraptors with helicopter blades on their head. They can fly around using the blades and then land right in front of you and bite your elbows off. They're fairly easy to get past. Benjamin Gates. How? Paul McCartney. Just walk through the doorway. They literally can't walk through doorways because of their propellers on their heads. Benjamin Gates. No, no, no they have oh. to say the vault. I didn't know the vault will look like a long hallway. At the beginning, there was a front door, and then there's lava, and then there's guards, and then there's a door to the guards. Wait. And then... <coughs> and then the guards, and then the door to the actual vault. You can bet that Nathan, Genghis, and the boat will be waiting inside with their bodyguards. You'll most likely have to fight at least one. But if you try and fight all three, you'll definitely die. Just get the birth certificate and get out. We'll fix it here. Well, I think that the only... I don't like that. I think that the only way any of us are going to get past this whole global warming thing is if we just wipe out the humans. It sounds kind of mean, but think about it. If there aren't any humans left in the world, then how is global warming going to kill all humans? Please don't die. It's an easy solution. We just need to find out who's going to kill all the humans. Benjamin uh, Paul McCartney. Well, if you want... That's not even the line. Poisonally. Poisonally, I think Gordon Ramsay. Poisonally. Poisonally, I think that Gordon Ramsay would do a great job at that. But I'm not sure that it has to do with getting Nicholas's birth certificate. Benjamin Gates. Olivia Jean. You're right. What do you think, E? Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney. Cameraman off screen to makeup artist. I think he's Roddy. That's not your voice before. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Director angrily. Oh crap, that's me. What's going on here? Have we seriously not gotten someone else to play Elon? Nobody answers. Director to the guy with the boom mic. You, go read Elon's lines. Guy with the boom mic. Boop 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 Director. What? <laughs> Cameraman. Uh, to Nathan, like the real one, not the one from the movie. <laughs> Wait, I'm talking to myself? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Wait, where where is it? Right there at the I top. told you I told you we should have learned Morse code. Director. Wait, hold on, what the hell? <laughs> Director. You should add Henry. Though. Whatever. To a random person walking around on set. You. Random person. Who's a random person? You oh, a random that's person Ollie. one. Me? Yeah. Director. Yes, you. Come read these lines. Random person walks over to the director who pulls a script out of his ear and hands it to her. Random Ooh. person. I, I, I don't know what to do with this. Director. Just read it. I don't care anymore. Random person. Uh, oh, uh... 
Uh, okay. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney, <laughs> as a random person. Wait, this me? Is me? I would have guessed. This is me, Ollie. I'm no, it's Elon me. Musk. I'm Elon Musk. Oh, we'll do it in... I thought I was the random person, though. You are the random person. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The yeah. random person is Elon Musk. You have to do Musk it in my voice, Elon though. Musk. <laughs> the, the random person Wait, has I'm now... Speaking, I'm guess. speaking to the wrong end. The, the <laughs> random person has become Elon Musk, who then has become Henry. Good work. I gotta do it in an Ollie voice. Ollie speak normally? <coughs> no! Normally! <laughs> <laughs> you mean that? I hate this you. This is my voice. I hate you. you Leave me voice. out of this! No, 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 no. Say Paul McCartney. Say Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. All right. You don't need to be, you don't need to be so rude. Elon Musk as Onion, not as John Mulaney Elon as a random Musk person. Elon Musk as on John Mulaney. <laughs> as on John Mulaney. <laughs> I don't think Reed. they heard that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I physically cannot not be rude. It's a serious medical condition and I don't appreciate you making fun of me like this. Go ahead, apologize to me now. Haven't Paul we already McCartney. done this scene? Paul McCartney. Oh, Wait. That's you. Wait. You and Benjamin both have the same medical disease? Benjamin Gates. No, we just hate you. Paul McCartney surrenders to the Battle of Stalingrad, Stalingrad 1943. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney as a random person. Is there anything else we need to know before we do this? Paul McCartney. Yes, there is. Those beards I gave you. They'll protect you from Nathan's slaves. But I don't know how well they'll work. If one of Nathan's does realize you, your, does realize your fate, then you need to you need to shoot them in the head immediately. Benjamin Gates. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm gonna stop you right there. That's a lot of things in this world that I would do to find a friend's birth certificate. But killing someone is uh, not one of those things. Paul McCartney. No, shooting them in the head won't kill them. It'll just knock their beards off, thus releasing them from Nathan's control. Watch this. Paul opens his front door and pulls a man walking down the street inside his house. Paul draws a handgun from his esophagus and shoots the man in the head. As expected, the bullet hits the man on the side of the head and he falls to the ground, dead. Benjamin begins to scream and does not stop. That was... You're not supposed to do that. There's still more. Elon Onions. Paul McCartney. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna read through all these screaming. <laughs> Benjamin stops screaming. Paul McCartney. Oh. Quap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Quap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep going, come on. Oh. Quap. That must have been some, some guy with a weird beard. Not one of those Nathans. Let me try again. Paul pulls a second person from the street and shoots them in the head again. This time, their beard falls off. Random person too. What's going on? Where am I? Paul moves the person to Siberia. <laughs> Paul McCartney. See, it won't kill them. It just knocks them out of Nathan's control. Benjamin Gates, calming down. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all you have for us, then we better get going. Benjamin and Elon begin to walk to the door. Paul McCartney. Wait! Ben and Elon stop and look at Paul. There's, so <laughs> well, there's something that I didn't tell you. When Nathan left America, he didn't want to just leave Nicholas in some random prison. Benjamin Gates. What are you saying? Paul McCartney. I'm saying... I thought we were doing this quickly. I'm saying that Nicholas Cage is in the city right now as we speak. They locked him up in a cage with a few blocks from the vault. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney, as a random person. Wait, <laughs> that gives me an idea. Paul, how much C4 do you have? Paul McCartney. Tons of it. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney, as a random person. Can I have it? Paul McCartney. 
Of course. Hall pulls 6,000 pounds of C4 from his pocket and hands it to Elon. Elon Musk as an onion, not as John Mulaney as Rand in person. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a reverse voice crack. <laughs> Elon, Elon and Ben leave, shutting the door behind them. Paul returns to his seat and pours another cup of vinegar. Just as he begins to drink it, the door to his house is kicked in. Nathan, Genghis, and the Pope walk uh-uh. into the... What? Nathan? Nathan, Genghis, and the Pope walk into the house. Paul begins to stand up. Nathan Cortinas. Nuh-uh. Wait, how do I do Nathan's voice? Voice Just... crack a lot. Yeah. Uh-uh. Don't stand up. <laughs> I don't voice that crack. That was perfect. <laughs> I, like, never voice crack. Nathan, Nathan draws a whoa, draws a gun and points it at Paul, who sits back down in his seat and gets the cup gets and sets his cup of vinegar on the table. Nathan stands in front of him while the Pope and Changus stand behind his chair, holding the shoulder so he can't stand up. Nathan Cortinas, what did you tell him, Paul? Where are they going? Paul McCartney That's nervously. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like not my I voice. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> All right. Nervously. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Nathan Cortinas, just answer. I'll make this easier for the both of us. Paul McCartney, somewhat confidently. I'm not telling you anything. Nathan Cortinas, sinisterly. Fine. Have it your way. Nathan pulls a fake beard out of his pocket. Paul realizes what it is and tries to get away. The Pope and Chang hold him down. Paul McCartney. No, no, wait. You don't have to do this. Nathan attaches the beard to Paul. Oh my God. And stop.